Hi, I'm Saradi and in this video I'm going to explain the basics of column profiling in Informatica Analyst tool. So in this video we're going to see how to create a column profile then how to run the column profiling and how to interpret the column profiling results. Now to run a column profile we need to log into the Analyst tool. So this is how the Informatica Analyst tool looks like. So I already have two data objects, a local table and, and server table, the names with local table and server table. These are flat file objects. So I will try to create a profile on the flat file called local table. So it has five rows with IDs ranging from one to five and certain departments and there is a null department for five. So what I would do is I would say new profile and I'll select column profiling and here I can select both the tables to be included in this profile or I can select only one of the tables I can select as many tables as I need so I will select the local table so I'll say next by default the name is profile underscore local table so I would change it as my profile underscore local table now I do not have any profiles run yet so it doesn't show any profiles here otherwise this window on the right corner shows what are all the profiles that currently exist in my analyst tool so I would say next and here I would select the columns that need to be profiled so I would select both the columns that that exist in the flat file source and on the right corner in the sampling options we can see on how many rows can the profile run so if you select all rows the profile runs on all the rows in this in this flat file source or you can say the first 10 rows or you can say a random sample of say a random sample of 5 rows or you can do a random sampling of auto number of rows so it, it picks up uh, the number of rows at one time so I would do a profiling of all rows and there's a concept called drill down say for example after profiling I would identify a pattern say a department name has only two characters that's a pattern so I would like if I would like to know what are all the departments that have a, a name ranging between one and two characters I would click on that pattern and drill down to see what are all the rows that match that pattern so the drill down concept drills down and shows us the rows that match a particular uh, pattern or that match a particular rule so in drill down we have something called live drill down and stage drill down now if I'm doing a live drill down so when I click drill down on the profile result so once the profile result is created if I if I select live drill down now so when I say drill down and show me the rows in the profiling results it would contact my source and get back and gets back with the rows that match that pattern if I say stage drill down the profiling results and will be stored say in 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 a in a table in the profiling warehouse and say when I click on a particular pattern and say drill down and show me the rows that pertain to this particular pattern it would not contact my source database or the source flat file but it would go and pick the rows from my profiling warehouse that is configured for this uh, analysis service or the model repository service right so I would do a drill down on the live data and there's an option here say profile results option F so if we click or if we check this option then say if I if I modified the profile later and I did not include certain columns in this profile then it will not show me the results or the profiling results of those columns so this option if checked will only shows the profiling results of those columns for which the profile is currently run right so I will leave it to the default I would not check it then the next option where you can apply a filter so suppose my source table or, or my source flat file has say 100 records I may not want to profile all the 100 records but I may want to profile only certain number of records from this flat file so I can apply a filter here so there's there are currently no filter so I would add a filter 
I would add a filter saying you know ID between 1 and 10 sorry right so I would add a description saying IDs between 1 and 10 so here I would select the columns so I would say ID and I would select an operator say between 1 and 10 so it filters all the records for which the ID ranges between 1 and 10 and it profiles only those set of rows so if I have to add more conditions I can I can keep adding the conditions or if I want to remove a particular condition I can click on this red button to remove the condition now this is how we build a simple filter now my SQL filter is disabled here because my source is a flat file we cannot run a SQL on a flat file if my source is a relational uh, database I would be able to see a SQL filter also enabled here now there is also an advanced filter now because I have given a simple filter the rule you know is automatically converted into an advanced filter or otherwise we can build our own filters using the functions that are available here say date functions or conversion functions we can use these functions on the columns in the source and we can build our own expression and validate the expression here so I would say okay this is my this is my filter then I would say next so if I would like to enable a row level drill down say I would want to see what are all the particular rows that um, apply to a particular pattern I would say enable row drill down and I would say save and run now the profile is running it's profiling the data from the source based on the source filter that we have specified the source filter is IDs between 1 and 10 so it's currently getting me back the results of the column profile so if we see here we have profiled both the columns and this is the results of the profile say so for the ID column there are five unique values so let me so show you my source data this is my source data there are five rows and there are four departments and for the fifth row the department is null right so there are five unique values which are five four three two and one and for the department there's one null value so which forms 20 percent of the total values because there are in total five rows and one row is null this percentage null shows me how how many or how much percentage of the records are null in this particular column and this data type is is the default data type when I am importing my flat file source into the analyst tool it identifies the precision and the data type now these were the defaults and these were the ones that uh, I modified when we are creating the, uh, the the local table or the or the flat file object in the analyst tool so 100% inferred because there are all, all the rows between 1 and 10 are here and you see it shows us the minimum value and the maximum value in a particular column So this is a numeric column so the minimum value is 1 and the maximum value is 5 and for a string column it, it sorts in ascending order and in alphabetical order I'm sorry and the minimum value is fin and the maximum value is RD and the last profile run shows when the, this particular profile is run so and the drill down shows what are all the columns that are selected for drill down now let's see what what a drill down is exactly so let's go to this column department column and I see the values here Now, when I say patterns it shows that there are certain departments which have only two characters in the department name there are certain departments for which there are three characters in the department name and there is one department for which uh, there's no value it's a null value for the department now if I want to see what are the rows that have this pattern of department name I would click on my drill down because I have enabled drill down for this column as well I see this option I click on drill down it's going to go to the source database because I have checked 
on the live data I want to perform a drill down so it has gone to the source database or my source flat file and it is saying that this is the particular row with ID as 4 and department as HR matches this pattern where the department name has two characters similarly if I click on this pattern and when I click on drill down it's going to the source uh, flat file and it's getting me the rows for which the department name pattern matches three characters so this is how the drill down concept works and because I have selected drill down on live data whenever I click on drill down analyst tool connects to your source file or database and gets the rows when I drill down on the staging database when the profiling was running the uh, the analyst tool would store the results in the profiling warehouse and when I click on drill down it gets me the rows from the profiling warehouse tables so this is how we interpret the results of a column profile and hence we have seen in this video how to create a column profile how to run the column profiling and how to interpret the column profiling results so we would love to hear from you about the feedback and you could contact us on support videos at informatica.com or on infosupport at twitter.com. Thank you.